Hello everybody, welcome back to my Math 8 SOL review video. Uh, this is a very common multiple choice question. You should expect to see something similar to this on this year's SOL test. So let's go ahead and take a look at this question. It asks us to number uh, or to order the following numbers uh, from greatest to least. So that's key. We need to make sure we're paying attention that we need to order them from greatest to least. All right, so again, many different ways we can attack a problem. If I'm solving this problem, my advice would be to turn every single one of these into a decimal and then compare them. Find the greatest and the next greatest and the next greatest and the next greatest and we have our answer. So let's go ahead and convert each of these values to a decimal and then we'll compare them. The first thing we have is 52%, which appears in every single question or every single answer. So let's take 52% and turn it into a decimal. If you, so if you recall, to turn a percent into a decimal, we simply move the decimal in this value two places to the left. Since it does not have a decimal that's appearing, you simply locate it at the end of the number. So let's go ahead and add a little decimal there and move it two places to the left. So 52% is the same thing as 0 0.52. All right. That one's done. The next value we have is 0 .0, I'm sorry, 0 0.45, which again appears in every single question. 0 0.45 is already a decimal, so that's kind of nice. I don't have to do anything with that one. All right, so our next number we have to work with uh, is 3.1 times 10 to the first power, which again appears in every single answer. So let's let's work on that one next. 3.1 times 10 to the first power. Well, 10 to the first power is 10, right? 10 to the first power. 10 squared would be 10 times 10, or 100. 10 cubed, or 10 to the third power, would be 10 times 10 times 10, or 1,000. But 10 to the first power is just a single 10. So all we have to do to figure out what this is as a decimal is multiply 3.1 times 10. And 3.1 times 10 is 31. If I want to write it as a decimal, I can go ahead and put 31.0, if that makes me a little happier. So I've taken care of my percent, my decimal, my scientific notation. The last one I have is that fraction, 10 over 11. And I have to turn 10 over 11 into a decimal as well. Easiest way for you, since you're in eighth grade, every single question you're allowed to use your calculator on. So let's go ahead and take 10 and divide it by 11. And that tells us... 10 divided by 11 is 0 0.90909, so it's repeating 90. So 0 0.90, which is getting repeated. All right, so I have four decimals here. I have 0 0.52, 0 0.45, 31.0, 0.90 0 repeating. And I have to go now compare these to figure out which one is the biggest. I want the greatest one first and then which one is the next greatest, and so on and so forth, until we have all of our values in the right order. Now, as I'm looking at these values, it's pretty easy for me to determine immediately which is the biggest one. Obviously, 31 is bigger than 0 point anything. So 3.1 times 10 to the first power should be the first number in my answer. And Answer A does not include 3.1 times 10 to the first power as its first value, so I can cross that one out. And answer C does not include 3.1 times 10 to the first as its first answer, so I can cross that one out. So I'm looking at these two values, 3.1 times 10 to the first, 52%, and so on, 3.1 times 10 to the first, 10 over 11, and so on. And now I have to simply find out which is my second biggest value. Is it... 10 over 11, or is it 52%? So I'm comparing this value here and this value here. And when I look at those two values, and I look at their place values, well, the one's place for this number has a zero in it, and for this one it has a zero in it also. So they're tied so far. So let's move over to the right side of our decimal, to the tenths place, where 
52% has a 5 in its 10th place. And 10 over 11 has a 9 in its 10th place. Clearly, 9 is bigger than 5, which tells us the fraction 10 over 11 must be bigger than the percent 52%. So since this is the second biggest value, that should be the second number in order in our answer. And since answer D has 10 over 11 as the second value, then answer D is the correct answer. Uh, when students are working on these, the most common mistakes they have is when they compare these different values. If I'm doing this and I'm not really feeling confident about this, I would literally write these things in a list. So 0 0.52, 0 0.45, 31.0, and 0 0.90, and that's repeating, of course. Now, since I don't have a number in the tens place for these other ones, I want to go ahead and put a zero here and a zero here and a zero here to compare. And since I don't have a number in the hundredths place for this one, I'll put a zero there. So now we simply compare these values starting at the left side and working our way across to the right. And clearly when we look into the, the first place, the tens place, we see that Three of them have zeros, and one of them has a three. So clearly, this must be our largest answer. When we continue working our way across the problem, in the ones place, the, the three remaining have zero, so they're sort of tied at this point. Then when we move to the right side of our decimal, we have a five, a four, and a nine. Clearly, nine is the next is the biggest value of those choices. So this would be our second biggest number. And then between the 5 and the 4, the one with the 5 would be the third biggest. And then this would be the smallest value. So if I'm literally putting these in order of how they look on here, from greatest to least, I would list it as 3.1 times 10 to the first power. Then I would list it as 10 over 11. And then I would list it with 52%, because that's 0.52. And then the last value, the decimal that was given to us, 0.45, stays 0.45. So this is an order from greatest to least. One last thing, another common mistake students may make on this, is not reading the question carefully. Making sure you're ordering it from greatest to least. That is a key factor in this particular problem. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.